Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Holy greetings in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome to the National Annual Building Programme of Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic, Bradford, England. We are grateful that you have taken the time to join us this afternoon. But before we go into the service, I would like to share some logistics with everyone. If you're using a computer at the right hand corner, you will find a square box. If you click on this, it will allow you to see the full view called gallery view, which you will be able to scroll through and see everyone. On the bottom left, there is a mute button. This should be muted, please, unless you are requested to speak or that the mod moderator asks us to unmute. Next to the mute button, you will also see a video sign where you'll be able to click and show your faces. Due to the fact that we are actually recording this uh, programme, we ask individuals to remain muted. If we're unable to hear you, then someone from the hosting team will actually be able to help and support you through that. You can give, um, Excuse me. So then we also have the giving out, which is tithely. Um, we also have bank transfer and check, should you wish to give, which we hope you will. Um, so for the tithely app, uh, you can access it online. Uh, and I'll give you the details for that, which is tithely, T I T H E dot L Y forward slash stroke give and create an account for free or download the Tidally app on your device and search for the Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Bradford UK. The second way is by bank transfer and that can be um, through the Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Cooperative Bank, account number 658-93485, bank sort code 08, nine two nine nine through the second way um is uh, through bank transfer is by the international bank the account number is gb 37 cpbk 08 you need a code, which is the bit code, which is CPBKG22. Then the third and final way of you being able to give 
is by sending the check to the Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic, number 200 Legbrams Lane, Bradford, UK, BD 72AA. So thank you for listening. Um, I pray that you will worship and enjoy your service, enjoy the service with us. May God bless you all and thank you. I'll now hand over to our sister Daphne Pia in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Just want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, tonight um, we're having our annual building program for Bradford. My name, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Sister Daphne Pierre from Bradford. Um, my host pastor is Elder Hubert Brooks, Assistant Pastor Tyndale and Pemberton, um, who will be joining us later on in, this, in the service. Our opening song today um, will be sung by the Praise and Worship team. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. We just want to give God thanks for his goodness. And to our uh, team this morning, this afternoon, who was singing, just a few apologies. Um, I do would like to um, greet our Bishop, Bishop C.T. Richards, Bishop Palmer, and all the other bishops on the Zoom, our admin team. And um, we just want to welcome everyone, um, whether you're a part of CJCA or not. We just want to welcome you all tonight. Tonight, um, because it's our building program, we are having a few items um, that we're going to be delivering later on. And we just want you to enjoy yourself. We want you to worship God and we want you to just, you know, take part as you would normally, you know, although you're on the Zoom. But we just give God the glory, give him the honor and the praise because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. And now we'll, um, we'll go on to have our prayer from um, Evangelist E. Bligen. Praise God. Who's going to just you know, allow God's presence over our meeting today. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Almighty God, our loving Savior, the most righteous one, oh God, we approach your mercy seat tonight. God, we lift you up, oh God, there is no other God but you, the omnipotent one, the all-powerful, the almighty God, the one who created everything, Lord, without you, nothing was made, nothing was created. Father, we approach you tonight because you are our savior. Lord, you are our king, almighty God. You are our peace, oh God. You are our way maker, Jesus. God, you are our strength when we are weak, Lord. Oh God, you are our help, oh God, when we are in trouble, Jesus. Oh God, you are able to part, oh God, the waters, Jesus, when it seems like it's gonna overflow us, God. We approach you tonight, God. We look to you tonight, Jesus, for your blessings upon this service, Jesus. God, we ask you to take the moderator in control in your hands, Jesus. God, you may bless her tonight, Lord. Use her, oh God, for your blessings, Jesus. Oh God, and let every word of her mouth tonight, oh God, whatever she says, Jesus, oh God, that you will get the glory. Lord Jesus, remember the speaker tonight, oh God. Lord Jesus, I ask that you may touch him, God. Lord, I ask you, oh God, for a special blessing upon him tonight. Lord, whatever he may say, God, let it be not from him, Jesus, but let it come straight from you, God, so that your people will get a word from you, Jesus. Oh, God, we ask that you may bless each and every one. Oh, God, on this platform, Jesus. Oh, God, those who have come, oh, God, just to hear from you. Those who have come, to Lord Jesus, because they are not sure what's going on. But, God, we ask you that your presence, oh, God, may be among us, God, that a soul will cry out tonight, Jesus. We ask you, oh, God, that it will not be mere formalities tonight, but God, that a soul will be blessed. A soul of God who doesn't know you will cry out, will cry out to you, Jesus. Lord, we ask you that you may take full control of your service. Oh God, everything that shall be said and done tonight. Oh God, we ask that you may be in it to bless it, Lord, we pray. And that all the honor, all the glory that belongeth unto you, oh God, will definitely go to you, Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to bless the bishops, oh God, each and every one, oh God, as they minister to your people, God, that you somehow, Lord, the words of their mouth, oh God, and the meditation of their hearts 
will be acceptable in thy sight. Every song, oh God, everything from the praise and worship team, Lord, that the Bible, oh God, scripture that will be read tonight, oh God, all the items, God, I present them before you. Oh God, and I ask that you may use your people tonight so that somebody will be blessed, Lord, and you will get the glory. Have thine own way even now, Jesus. Take full control of thy service. Be among us tonight as we say thanks in Jesus' name. And for Jesus' sake, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless Thank the Lord. You. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Come with power and fill our temple. Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Come with power and fill the temple. Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We'll go further into our service tonight and we'll ask a um, uh, scripture reading to be read by Assistant Pastor Tyndale. Praise the Lord. It's from 1 Kings 20, 20 to 30. Pastor Tyndale, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Give honor to the Spirit of God. Greet to all saints each and every one that is on this platform tonight. Our scripture lesson is taken from 1 Kings 20, from 22 to 30. Read thus, praise God. And the prophet came to the king of Israel and said unto him, go strengthen thyself and mark and see what thou doest. For, for at the return of the heir of the king of Syria will come up against thee. And the servants of the king of Syria said unto him, their gods are gods of the hills, therefore they were stronger than we, but let us fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. And do this thing, take the kings away, every man out of his place, and put captains in their rooms and number thee an army like the army that thou hast lost, horse for horse, chariot to chariot, and we will fight against them in the plain. And surely we shall be stronger than they. And he hearkened unto their voice and did, and did so. And it came to pass at the return of the year that Ben Hadadad numbered the Syrians and went up to Aprek to fight against Israel. And the children of Israel were numbered and were all present and went against them. And the children of Israel pitched before them like two little flocks of kids, but the Syrians filled the country. And there came a man of God and spake unto the king of Israel and said, thus said the Lord, because the Syrians have said that the Lord is God of the hills, but he is not God of the valleys. Therefore, I will deliver all this great multitude unto thine hand, and he shall know that I am the Lord. And they pitch one over against the other seven days. And so it was, that in the same day that the battle was joined and the children of Israel slew the Syrians a hundred thousand footmen in one day. Thirtieth and last. But the rest fled to the apex into the city and there was a wall fell upon 20 and 7,000 of the men that were left 
and Ben-Hadad ben fled and came into the city into an inner chambers. May the Lord add his recent blessing to these words in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We we'll now go back to our praise and worship. Thank you. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivers me. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivers me. How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? I know he delivers. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivers me. How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? I know he delivers me. How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? I know he delivers me. Bless the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. I now hand over to Assistant Pastor Pemberton for the greetings and welcome in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Giving honor to the Spirit of God, I will soon come in, King. It's a privilege for being here this evening into our Zoom national meeting for the very first time in this manner, God has allowed us to be here. And so we are grateful for all that he has done for us and what he's about to do this evening. And so as I, I am going to do the greeting here and in me doing so, when you are asked to speak, you do not have to go through all the greetings again by greeting Bishop this and that. I'm going to do the greeting now. So that covers all in Jesus' name. I will not also be able due to time to mention every name that we have here this evening. But most importantly, I will have to welcome, as you listened, as I will call the names. We have with us as always, even in our prayer service, we have always have with us our national Bishop, Dr. C.T. Richards Darnell of Sheffield. Also, without fail, we have Bishop Palmer, his wife, and also Bishop Richards and his wife. We greet you all in the name of Jesus. Welcome to our national program. We have with us who have always been visiting Bradford, on a Tuesday evening, Bishop Williams from Manchester the Ark. We welcome you tonight. And so I will go over and just listen to the names that I'll call. But as I said, I am covering all the greetings for everyone. We have our national our presiding 
Bishop, Dr. W.G. McCoy, also we, from Inglewood, New Jersey. We also have Bishop Dr. B.C. Hibbert, our General Secretary. And going back over here, we have our Deputy Presiding Bishop A.G. Brett, Mount Vernon, United States of America. And we have National Bishop E. L. Thomas, Rest Tamanacle, Toronto, Canada. We have from Banniside, Jamaica, National Bishop B. Campbell. And all those who are overseas, I will not have the time, as I said, to call all the names, but you are welcome tonight. We welcome all the pastors. We have Pastor Modest from Sheffield and his wife, Missionary Modest. We have Reverend G. Ferguson from London. Praise the Lord. And so we have quite a few pastors, as I said, time will fail me to call all the names as I would like to do so. But tonight in the name of Jesus, welcome. Welcome, all are welcome to our national building program in the wonderful and most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the last but not least, we have our pastor, Pastor Hugh Brooks from Bradford. And we have our assistant pastor, Anna Tyndall, including myself, Jane Pemberton. And at this time, I'm going to hand over to you, our chairperson, and that is in the person of brother, brother, um, his name will just come back to me. Brother Evans, in Jesus name. Bless the Lord. Brother Bless Evans, the Lord. praise Bless the Lord. God. Praise Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let us God. put our hands together for our chair person in Jesus name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love ye the world, bless God that he gave us his son. It is truly an honor and a privilege today to share in this auspicious moment, one that we've never seen before, bless God, one that we will never see before, bless God. And so we should indeed live today as if it is our last. Today, I am excited by our topic today, the omnipotent God, a true deliverer, bless the Lord. And you see, something came to my mind, a scripture that came to my mind is Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 18, to which it says, to whom then will he lighten God unto? Or to what likeness will he compare him? The truth is believers, we cannot compare God to nobody. There's none like him. He is super relative to everything. Bless the Lord. And today, we are glad that we're on the winning side. We're glad that we serve a risen Savior. Bless the Lord. Today, we have a packed program in front of us. And without wasting any time, at this moment, we will be leading by example and be asking Sister and Brother Harper from the Church of Jesus Christ, Bradford, to do us a song which immediately after the person's voice you'll be hearing is Bishop Dr. W.G. McCoy, our presiding bishop to greet the church in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Great is the Lord, the Prince of life and glory. Great is the Lord, and wonderful his name. Shout, shout again, the soul redeeming story. Mercy for all, through him proclaim. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord. Hail him, hail him, shout his name afar. He is the light that shineth in the darkness. He is the bright and morning star. Great was the love that from his throne of splendor brought him to earth for sinful man to die. Oh, for a gift amazing and so tender. Glory to God, to God on high. Great is the Lord, Great is the Lord, Elim, Elim, shout his name afar. He is the light that shineth in the darkness. He is the bright and morning star. Great is the Lord, the hope of our salvation. Strong is the tower where on the faithful stand. Oh, 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 clap your hands with holy exaltation. Come with a song at his command. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord. Hail him. Tell him, shout his name afar. He is the light that shineth in the darkness. He is the bright and morning star. Wake every heart, let every voice adore him. Now let the world with hallelujahs ring. Scepters and crowns in dust shall fall before him. Jesus alone shall reign our King. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord. Hail him. Hail him, shout his name of God. He is the light that shineth in the darkness. He is the bright and morning star. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Hail him, hail him, shout his name of God. He is the light that shineth in the darkness. He is a bright and morning star. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Amen. Amen. Shout his name for he is the light. That shineth in the darkness, he is a bright and morning star. Bless the Lord, praise God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Lovely song, bless the Lord. Now at this time, we're going to invite, bless the Lord, our deputy presiding bishop, Bishop A.G. Brett, to greet the church in Jesus' name. Bless God. Bishop A.G. Brett. And if he's not online, I'm going to invite the executive pastor, uh, Executive Brett, also to 
greet the church in his standing, please. Bless God, bless God. We'll come back to that on our program. At this time, we'll run right over to Leeds and we'll ask, bless the Lord, Evangelist NY to bless our hearts in song in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I onward Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay. Oh 
Bless the Lord, lovely song. Higher ground is what we want to be. Bless the Lord, higher ground is where we want to be. Complacency is never good. Never settle for the level you are. Strive to get to higher ground. Bless the Lord, God has been good. Bless the Lord, and our tentacles at CJCA is so wide, bless the Lord, that we have spread our arms all over the world. And at this time we're going to invite, bless the Lord, overseer A. Raj from India to greet the church in short, three minutes in Jesus' name. Holy greetings to all. God is good all the time. I'm really happy to join in this annual building program, standing by faith in omnipotence. A good deliverer, the Lord Jesus Christ is the greatest gift and marvelous reward. It is the greatest protection, not only in this case of trial and patience, but all through the life of eternity. This faith in the omnipotent what salvation from sin and peace with God Almighty is the true deliverer his grace and creed rules over the world. He, the true deliverer, the omnipotent, reigns over the creation, rules over the history and shows them all that he is only omnipotent and sustainer of his people from the hands of all the enemies. As he is under the merciful king of Israel, he stood with Israel in all works and creed of them. In the eternal love of Almighty delivers the office and fear of the oppressor of sin. Magnifying himself to be the true God in the sight of his believers and as a shield of protection from all the evils. Peace with God is a wonderful gift that we possess. This is not merely inner feeling, but it is a real fact. God uses peace through his love. To have peace with God, we must be warrior of God Almighty in faith through Jesus Christ. Grace reigns righteousness, love reigns for life and eternal salvation. Peace means our soul with the Lord, since being justified by his crucifixion and redemption. It is the eternal kingship of the true deliverer of mankind who seeks the unruly world, peace, salvation, and eternity. It is an abundance of peace. May the love of the omnipotent, the true deliverer, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, peace maker, bless one and all in this summer's meeting. Amen. God bless you all. Peace be for India. Praise Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless Thank you, Overseer Raj. Bless the Lord. Sound words. Now, at this time, we're going all the way over to Canada. Bless the Lord. We're Sister Money Chambers. We'll bless our hearts with a song in Jesus' name. Bless God. Sister Money Chambers Watson in Jesus' name. These are the ways of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness be. Your 
declaring the word of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. At the trumpet calls, lift your voice to the air of Jubilee. Out of Zion's hill, salvation comes and behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 Bless the Lord, lovely song. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. At this time, we we'll run back. Bless the Lord and invite our presiding bishop, Doctor Bishop W. G. McCoy, to greet the church in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you, uh, Minister. It's such a pleasure for me to be here. I certainly want to apologize for being late, just getting here. But thanks be to God, I'm. Here. Here uh, to Pastor Brooks and all the saints in Bradford who are national uh, bishop, Bishop C.T. Richards, to Bishop Palmer, all the pastors in England. It is such a pleasure that we're able to join from around the world for this uh, building fund service, and we're in for a great time tonight. I'm quite sure we're going to have a strong word from Bishop Hibbert. We're looking forward to that. Each and every one in Bradford, I greet you in the beautiful name of Jesus Christ. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. I was up the road uh, a couple of miles away from home, rushing, trying to get back here because I wanted to be with the brethren. Zoom has been a blessing to us internationally. It was able to pull us from all parts. We are so glad to have uh, Overseer Raj with us from India as well to be here to magnify God together. Saints of God, let us capitalize on this opportunity to join together in the name of the Lord. Uh, God bless you. God bless you again, Pastor Brooks. Great job you're doing in Bradford, holding up the fort, and we are supporting you. We're here to support you as well. Let's look forward to a great word from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop Richards. Looking good, sir. God bless you, and Bishop Palmer, everyone, all pastors. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. God bless you. Love your watch. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Bless the Lord, Bishop. It was Paul that says, follow me as I follow Christ. Bless the God Lord. God bless you, sir. man. The man that I look up to, bless the Lord, Amen. and I continue to look up to him. At this time, we'll, we'll run right back over to Canada, and we'll invite Bishop E.R. Thomas to... Bring greetings to the church in Jesus' name. Bishop E.R. Thomas, in Jesus' name. If Bishop Thomas is not on, we'll get back to him, but now we'll run over to Birmingham and we'll invite Evangelist Sharon Stevens to greet the church two minutes in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Praise. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Praise. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We give God thanks one more time for this wonderful privilege. Praise God. Lovely scripture we have before us. Praise God. God is a, a true deliverer. 
the omnipotent God, praise God, is all powerful, all supreme. There's none like him, there's none beside him, praise God. We cannot limit it, God, and we see what's happened, praise God, when anybody limited God, because God is all powerful and no one can limit it, God. You pray for me in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, short but spicy, bless God. Not eating into anybody's time. We're moving along, bless God. And at this time, we're going to invite Bishop L. Palmer from the Upper Thorpe CJCA Church in Sheffield, in Jesus' name. Oh, praise the Lord. Just lift your hand and give God some praise, everybody. Just lift your hand. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. The greeting is gone forth to everyone. It's so good to see Pastor Roger. Amen. They're joining us and everyone from over the world in Bradford. Bless the Lord. It's a privilege to be able to share again in this Zoom service. As Bishop McCoy said, this Zoom has united people from all over the world. Bless the Lord. It's an opportunity that we've never had before. And one of be grateful to be able to share tonight in this wonderful service, the omnipotent God true deliverer. Bless the Lord is all powerful, almighty, all sufficient. Bless the Lord is a God of the mountain, he's a God in the valley, and he's able to deliver. David said, one thing have I desire of the Lord that will I seek after and dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. From the time of trouble, he shall hide me in the secret place of his tabernacle. And God is our protector. Amen. He's our guide. He's our deliverer. It's a guarantee that whenever time we are in trouble, we can always rely on him because he's an omnipresent God, all-powerful and almighty God. Bless the Lord. He's omnipotent in his transcendence and none can go above him. Amen. He's all-knowing, all-powerful and all-present. And we trust him and believe him that in time of trouble, he'll always be there for us. No matter what the enemy said, God will turn up, and he'll turn up on time. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Bishop, for those sound words. Bless the Lord, words of life indeed. And this time I'm running down to, bless the Lord, the warm and sunny uh, country of Jamaica. Bless the Lord, where will we, where we'll be hearing from Bishop B.B. Campbell. Bless the Lord, is Bishop Campbell there, bless God. Bless the Lord. If Bishop Campbell is not there, is there a representative for him? Bless the Lord. Followed by a song from the New Testament Church of God, Bradford. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Can we have the song then, bless the Lord, from the New Testament Church of God in Bradford, please, in Jesus' name.
bless God, bless God, beautiful rendition of song. We must apologize for the technical difficulties, but I trust and hope that we were all listening to the words, bless God. It is easy, bless God, to notify or to identify the one mistake or the one fall. The one time somebody says is when they were supposed to say are. But I encourage you, bless the Lord, to continue to travel, bless the Lord, because we're on the Zoom meeting and technical difficulties can occur. Without further ado, bless God, we're running over to London, bless God, where we'll invite Elder D. Bentley from CJCA, Forest Gate, London, to greet the church, followed by, bless God, Elder B. Modest from Darnell, Sheffield. Bless the Lord Jesus, praise the Lord Jesus. Mighty God, awesome God, you are high and lifted up, awesome God, thanking you, Bradford, for this Zoom meeting. You know, we've been blessed over the years. Uh, Pastor Brooks and the Saints in Bradford, you're doing a wonderful job. And truly today is no exception. And truly God will continue to strengthen you and bless the service that you do for the Lord. My encouragement to you and to us is, of course, said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. Where unto the called and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. You pray for us as we pray for you from Forest Gate. CJCA in Jesus' name. Elder Modest, bless God. Elder Modest, followed by Celebration Choir in Bradford in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Wonderful God, and this all this already said, He's always over us, ever victorious. He's a God that we cannot un underestimate as a Christian. You know, we have to leave that to, to sinners to underestimate God, but we can't allow that to happen to us. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We're going to see if Bishop Raymond Williams from the Bethel Apostolic Ark in Manchester is on. Bishop Williams, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. If Bishop isn't on, we're going to ask for greetings from Pastor Stanley from the Hyde Park Church in Leeds. Pastor Stanley, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings to the house of faith. Good to be with you today. Praise God. It's a wonderful day. We give God thanks for his goodness and his mercy to us. And uh, he's worthy. The songs, I said, he's worthy. God's worthy. He's the almighty, the creator, the alpha, omega, beginning and the end. Holy Lord God of almighty. Blessing and glory, wisdom and power. God is my rock, in him will I trust. My strong tower and my refuge, savior, deliverer, and soon coming king. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And in Revelation um, 19, verse 6 says, I, and I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of the mighty thunders, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Verse 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. Praise God. God bless you all in Jesus. A wonderful meeting. God bless you. Bless God. Thank you, Pastor Stanley. Bless God. 
Now this time we're running up to London. We will be hearing from Evangelist G. Johnson, who is representing Reverend E.J. Ferguson from the Cricklewood, London, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless his holy name. Today I honor the Holy Spirit of God. Greetings to Pastor Brooks and the household of faith in Bradford and the board of bishops. Every saint, every minister worldwide, I greet you in the blessed name of Jesus. On behalf of Reverend E.J. Ferguson, we extend greetings on her behalf and from us at St. Michael's CJC. This is a powerful scripture telling us when we are being guided by God, we need not be moving in fear, living in fear, because as we can see in this passage here, the verse is selected where the Assyrians, they had their plan against Ahab. But what he didn't realize, and he and his, his men didn't realize that we don't know the mind of God. Look how God came through for them. He, his men told him that the Israelites are only able to fight on the mountain. So they will take them in the plain. And guess what happened? God came through for them. He delivered them. If he did not obey the instructions when the prophet came and told him what to do and how to do, he, he would have been running at a loss. And we have a song that we sing that Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is his name. So today, whatever circumstances we face today, remember that God is always there, all seeing, all knowing, and he's a mighty deliverer. You pray for me in Jesus' name. Bless God, bless God. Thank you, Pastor. And this time we're going to run back over to Bishop Raymond Williams to see if he's online, bless the Lord, from the Bethel Apostolic Ark in Manchester. Bishop Williams, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, beloved ones. God bless you. Just give God some praise. I thank God. Giving honor to the Spirit of God, to all the men of God, and to the presiding bishop, and to all the bishops, and to the whole pastor, my dear brother and command and sir. Praise God. God has been good to us. Praise God over the years, and God continues to bless us. It is important for us that the Lord would lead us to complete victory, whatever side. We don't need to worry because we serve a winner man. A winner man in the morning, evening, night, or noon. The songwriter says you can call him anytime. That's the God in whom we serve because we don't serve a God that goes on journeys or takes vacations, but we serve a very present help in the time of trouble. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Keep the fire burning. Praise God. There are souls to be delivered and there are souls to be saved. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come thus far. Find no fault. And I don't feel like going on. We are going on. Bless the Lord. At this time, we're going to invite evangelist Anne-Marie from Bethel in Birmingham to give us an item in Jesus' name. God bless you, brethren. I'm here with my sister, Sister Tracy, and we're just going to minister this song in Jesus' name. You are my strength. Strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me. 
You are my hope, hope like no other, hope like no other, reaches to me. God, God bless you in Jesus' name. He's never failed me yet. He's He's never never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Everywhere I go, I want the world to know. Jesus Christ never failed me. Never Yeah. 
setting you don't start to worship yet bless god at this time bless god we're going to invite bless god pastor duncan bless the lord from the cjca in trinidad bless the lord to greet the church uh, representing elder etienne in jesus name bless god that's that be the name of the lord for the name of the Lord is our strong tower. The righteous run into his name and they are saved. What a mighty God we serve today. A God who is all powerful and all knowing. He is the greatest God. The Bible, the word of God said, when the enemy shall come as a flood, the spirit of God shall raise a standard. We thank God today that he is our, he's a deliverer. He's our battle axe. He's our man of war. And, and there is nothing that he cannot do. The word of God said he can do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we can ask or think or even imagine according to the power that worked in us today. Yet, we, we saw that in, in the, the book of King, that the, 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 the enemy thought that the Israel, Israel God was only a, a God on the hill. So they decided to say, we're gonna attack them in the valley. But we de I declare today, that God is a, is, is, is a God over all. He's supreme. He is sovereign. Hallelujah. Yes. And in the, in the, as they came in the valley, he also defeated them. He also defeated them and bring them to naught. If we ask Pharaoh, Pharaoh will say, uh, uh, my the, our, the, the God that the Israelites serve is a God of power and might. And so today, people, you know, we need to stop and you know and meditate how great our God is. You know, we doesn't give him that kudos, my the, the, what he is though, because he's uncomparable. That which cannot be compared with. He's above all. And so today, I thank God that he is our deliverer. And today we can put our trust and our faith and our confidence in him. In him. And he will never allow us to be ashamed in Jesus' name. May God bless you. At this time, we'll be hearing from the Celebration Choir in Bradford, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'll share my screen. I've changed the settings, so hopefully it should work better this time. Bless God. Bless the Lord. If it doesn't, then someone else has volunteered to help. It, 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 it doesn't, but uh, can, can I just try it, please, in Jesus' yes, name? Yes, let me, let me stop it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bless the Lord. Thank you so much.
Bless God. We seem to be having some technical difficulties. Bless God. It's 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 plain, but the audio seems to not be coming out. Bless God. So we're going to move along. Bless God, and we're going to invite Minister Creighton. Bless the Lord. Bless God from the Mount Peniel Apostolic Church. Bless God to greet the church to bring an item in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. I give honor to the spirit of the, the Lord and I just greet the whole household of faith. I want to bless God tonight. I am so confident tonight that the God that I serve is a mighty God. There's no limit to power. And he can say with little or few. We see from the scripture that the Syrians outnumbered Israelites. But if God be for us, who can be against us? And God whoop them so bad. Praise God and prove and demonstrate his power because they have the audacity to think that God have limits. There's no limits to what our God can do. Is there anything too hard for God? No, God is almighty and I love him so much. That's why I worship him. That's why I come to church and join with the service because we are on the victory side. Serve a great, big, wonderful God. He's always victorious. He's always watching over us. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. He's so worthy tonight. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Bless God. Bless God. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Just at this time, it's my time to hand over the baton. Bless the Lord. And at this time, I take great pleasure in handing over the remainder of the service now to Elder B. Horton, who will take care of our offering in Jesus' name. Heaven bless you. Thank you.
Bless the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord. Let us just give the Lord a wave, praise God. We give God thanks for his blessings towards us. We give God thanks for his goodness towards us. We're together again, just praising the Lord. We're together again on one accord. And I do believe that something good is going to happen. You know, we've been worshipping the Lord tonight and giving him the best of our service. Not everybody's had the opportunity to say or to do something, but this is the part where everybody can take part. It's, we look upon this part where we can contribute to the working of God, to the ministry of God here in Bradford. And so I'm asking that you dig deep tonight, praise God. Although you might be many miles away, you can still contribute to the ministry of the work in Bradford by sending a donation, a check or a bank transfer to the information that is in front of you. You can send a check to the Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic uh, by bank transfer. Account number is 658-93485. Sort code is 089299. International bank account, you can send it via these details, GB. 37 CP BK 089 and transfer code is CP BK G22. Or if you're in the UK, you can make a check out to Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic 200 Legrums Lane, Bradford, UK, BD 72AA. I'm just going to ask God's blessing upon the offering as you give in Jesus' name. Father, we give you thanks for your blessing towards us. We give you thanks for this opportunity that we can meet, oh God, over Zoom and support one another. Although the miles may be far, Lord, you have brought us together in this fashion. I pray that as we give tonight, oh God, we will give with a willing heart that your work and that your purpose shall be done in Bradford. Have your divine way, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and for Jesus' sake. Amen. God bless you as you give in Jesus' name. Praise I hand back Lord. to Brother Shamal. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, we'll have a song for the collection of the offering from Sister Monique Chambers Watson in Jesus' name. Praise God. Bless the Lord. God bless you, Sister Monique. Hallelujah. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. Let's 
magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, come, let's magnify the Lord, yeah, for he is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is, oh, Santa, blessed be the rock, Woo! blessed be the rock for my salvation. Of my salvation, oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, hey, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, hey, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, yeah, blessed be the rock, hey, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, hey, blessed be the rock, he's the hope of my salvation, he's my hope for tomorrow, blessed be the rock, yeah, blessed be the rock, yeah, blessed be the rock of my salvation, yeah, come on and give him worship, open your mouth and give him praise, put your hands together. Bless the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Bless Lord, the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Praise God, Praise God. at this time, time, we'll ask, we'll ask Elder, 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 forward, please. Bless, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. I was supposed to try to this time, give him praise. Was, was, was wondrous. Praise, praise God. God is mighty. And I'm excited about God tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. The mighty God that we serve is to able, praise God, to do great things above that which we are able to even think. Praise God. Just want to greet everyone tonight in his exalted name. Praise God. Just to Give thanks for everyone who has joined in. Praise God. Hallelujah. And just to celebrate with us this time on Zoom. Praise God. Praise God. It's something we have never done before. Praise God. But through circumstances, then we are here. But it's truly a privilege, praise God, that we can be in so many countries at the same time without taking a literal flight, praise God. But we can zoom into America, we can zoom into Canada, praise God, we can zoom into India, we can zoom into Trinidad, all over the place. It is a blessing and it's a wonderful privilege, 
praise God. I'm truly thanking God that he has brought us this far. Praise God. We have come by faith. And just to thank everyone who has contributed so far. It's a blessing. Praise God. We still have a little bit of spare time. And um, notice that um, Pastor Jay Watson is on. I'm going to ask her just for two minutes of greeting in Jesus' name. And also um, Pastor Sterling from the New Testament Church of God in Bradford. Two minutes of greetings in Jesus' name. Praise God. Greetings, church. Uh, greetings, uh, Elder Brooks. God bless you to our presiding bishop and to all our bishops, Bishop Palmer, Bishop Richards, and to the saints of the Most High God. Uh, I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I'm enjoying the service, Sister Money. Sing so joyfully, trusting in God and knowing for sure that she stand on the promises of God. God bless you as we rejoice in the Lord. Reading the scripture, really it ignites your spirit, knowing that the God that we serve is not only the God of the hill as he was referred to, but also the God of the valley. We serve a great, big, wonderful God that we can trust in God at all times. We must have confidence that the God who have started the work within us, that he's able to see us through in a time as now is for us to trust in God, have faith in God, don't lose faith now. We are much nearer home than when we first started. God bless you that you will stay put and serve the Lord in gladness in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Praise God, praise God, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Watson, praise God. Um, is Pastor Sterling there? Okay, praise God, we just move on. Um, my home church in Jamaica, praise God. They are saying there. Hello, I am, I am here, sorry. Okay, okay, go ahead, um, Pastor okay. Sterling, God bless. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's indeed a wonderful pleasure to be here with you all this afternoon. So I'd just like to greet all my fellow ministers on this platform tonight. We are told how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to get dwell together. And tonight I can really say that um, we can feel the closeness of um, and the bond that we've all got from from all around this um this world, you know, from, from across the West Indian as far as, um, as as India. And I'm sure tonight that as we meet, I'm sure that God is well pleased with our effort and our coming together tonight. So just like to encourage all of us tonight that even in this pandemic, that we can go on praising God and lifting up his name. It is no, um, wonder that we're in such a time like this and I believe that this is an inspiring time for us as children of God to get together still to proclaim this wonderful gospel so I'm going to say how refreshing it is tonight for me to be here and to join in with this wonderful celebration and most of all to uplift and to help our fellow brothers and sisters in Bradford so let us keep up the good fight and let us continue to reach those far and wide in our community as we do well and do business in our master's kingdom. May God bless you all. And Elder Brooks, may God continue to bless you, sir. And I'm sure that God will help us to win this battle in Bradford. May God bless you and may God keep you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Sterling. God bless you as well, sir, in Jesus' precious name. Praise God. My home church um, from Jamaica is on. Uh, Pastor Thompson is on, but I know she's not uh, She's not in the best of health at the moment. We just continue to pray for her and all the saints back there. Praise God. I don't like to call on anyone suddenly, but if it's, I'm going to ask um, Elder Moshe, if it's even just one minute of greeting, just to greet us all from back there in Jamaica, that's Emmanuel Apostolic Church, that's my home church, that's my born ground from Jamaica. Hello, Moshe. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints, I just want to greet, as it has already greeting, is already going to all the bishops, pastors and saints, um, greet Pastor Brooks, praise God. The topic about the omnipotent God, God and wonderful 
Les guys, the books and myself and two other brethren in Jamaica, we were the group that going on, praise God, but unfortunately, other two not in the church again. But I'm proud and I'm happy of Pastor Brooks now in Bradford doing a wonderful job. God bless you, Pastor Brooks. I hope we just continue. Praise God, I pray with you and all the saints there. God bless you over that part of the vineyard. We are all brethren working together to gain souls to go to heaven for the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Moshed, for coming to us from over there in sunny Jamaica. Mm. Praise God. Praise God. We crave some of that sunshine at this moment over here in the UK. However, we know we'll soon be getting it. God bless you all. Praise God. Praise God. We are thankful that God has blessed us this far. Praise God. Praise God. We are truly blessed. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Let me see you wave your hands tonight. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise we are a happy Praise people. Jesus. We are an excited yes. people. Whenever yes. we call the name Jesus, Praise God. It brings deliverance. Hallelujah. It brings joy. It brings peace. It brings contentment. Praise God. For there's power. There's redemption. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And for that reason, we just can't stop calling that name. Shout his name. Sound his name. Hallelujah. For he is the light that shines in the darkness. He is the bright and morning star. Praise mm. God. You won't be hearing me much mm. for, the, for the moment. Oh, because yeah. at this time, I'm going to ask, praise God, our presiding bishop. Because we are at the moment, we are, we're going to hear the word of God. And that's the most important uh, one of the most important parts in our praise tonight as we give praise to God. The word of God is important unto the people of God. Praise God because the word of God gives understanding and it gives it light. So at this time, I'm going to ask our presiding bishop, Bishop Dr. Walter G. McCoy, just to come forward and to introduce the speaker for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Bishop Walter, over to God bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Brooks. Uh, God, uh, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And, special and special greetings, greetings to, to, to everyone, everyone in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. God, bless God, bless God bless you. God bless you, Bishop, Bishop Raymond William. Good, good to see you as well. well. All right, we, I'm getting some feedback, but I'm going to try to introduce a preacher. Not even try. It is my pleasure to be introducing the preacher. So on the behalf of the, the board of bishops, uh, Bishop Richard's on here, but I'm doing this introduction. I really had a blessed time in the service today. Though I was late there, the praise and worship was good. The moderators were great. And we give God thanks for all things. It's time for the word. We are blessed of God today to have this young man. I call him young because he's a little bit younger than I am, but uh, he's been preaching the word of Lord for a number of years. Bishop Bounton Hibbert comes to us from the highland of Jamaica, from the parish of, of Clarendon, one of the better parishes in Jamaica. Uh, he comes to us by way of uh, church in, 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 in America. He was uh, in our headquarters church for a number of years, did a great job there. Uh, he was promoted to be the pastor of the church in Passaic, New Jersey. Uh, this gentleman is married to the beautiful Michelle Hibbert. They have three children. Give God thanks for them. He's a preacher of the word of God. He preaches all over the world. Bishop Hibbert has gone to Hong Kong. He's preached there. He's preached in India. He's preached in Liberia, Nigeria, Trinidad, Jamaica, all over the United States, all over Canada. He's a worldwide person. Bishop Ibrahim is well learned. Not only is he well learned, he loves to study the word of the Lord. He's a good preacher. And I, when I introduce him, I say he's a consistent voice in the apostolic arena. I believe your heart will indeed be blessed today by hearing the word, especially in the subject matter that we are dealing with. He's certainly an expert in this. And you will, your time will be well worth it if you stay tuned and listen to the word of the Lord, you will be blessed. Coming to us out of the sake, New 
Jersey, none other than the General Secretary of the Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Worldwide, Bishop Barrington Constantine Hibbert, hear he the word of the, the Lord. Lord. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. We give God thanks today for his goodness and mercy and for all that he has done. God is good. Can you take this mic down just a little? It's a bit heavy. I hope you can hear me well. Amen. I want to thank Pastor Brooks for this invitation to minister uh, there in Bradford today. I'd like to uh, greet our presiding bishop, Bishop McCoy, Walter G., and our national bishop, Richards, there in the United Kingdom. I Greetings to Bishop Palmer as well, the ever-present, ubiquitous Bishop Palmer. I see him in every service. Bishop Raymond Williams, Pastor Brooks, uh, Pastor Tyndall, Pastor Bentley, Elder Modest, a man, who else did I miss? Pastor Pemberton, Overseer Raj, Pastor Watson, and if I've missed anyone, remember, Pastor Pemberton told us that she already greeted um, everybody. So pardon me if I miss some of you today. I want to thank God for this opportunity of allowing me to still be standing alive even in spite of the pandemic. I just give God thanks for keeping me safe and I thank God for keeping all of us safe at this very uh, dangerous time Amen. But we do serve an omnipotent God who delivers. And as a result of which we're here today to give him thanks. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I bring you greetings from CJC Apostolic in Passaic. And with me here in the sanctuary is my wife, Sister Michelle, uh, the missionary Joan Morris, and the sister Natalie Williams. They come to just support me as I thought it would be better to stand in the sanctuary than to sit at my desk. I give God thanks for his goodness. I am intrigued uh, by the, the theme, uh, the omnipotent God, a deliverer. Amen. We praise him for what he has done, for how he always delivers. How many people know that God is a deliverer? Amen. Uh, so let's get to it. Our text is from 1 Kings 20, verse 22 to 30. But I'd just like to read verse 27 to 30 and just camp out there for a little while. And the children of Israel were numbered and were all present and went against them. And the children of Israel pitched before them like two little flocks of kids but the Syrians filled the country and there came a man of God and spake unto the king of Israel and said thus saith the Lord because the Syrians have said the Lord is God of the hills but he is not God in the valleys. Therefore will I deliver all this great multitude into thine hand. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. And they pitched one over against the other seven days. And so it was that on the, in the seventh day the battle was joined. And the children of Israel. A battle was joined, and the children of Israel slew of the Syrians a hundred thousand footmen in one day. But the rest fled to Aphek into the city, and there a wall fell upon twenty and seven thousand of the men that were left. And Ben Hadad fled and came into the city in the inner chamber. May God add his blessings to the reading of his word. Dear Father, bless these words to the heart of your people today. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. In verse 22 of this lesson, 1 Kings chapter 20, 
we learn that the king of, of Syria, Ben-Hadon, along with 32 other kings with horses and their chariots, attacked Samaria, the capital of Israel, the northern kingdom. In response to King Ahab's, in response to this, King Ahab summoned 232 uh, provincial commanders and asked them to respond to this aggression. Under these 232 commanders, there were 7,000 soldiers from, from Israel. And they went up against, responded to Ben-Hadad and his 32 king friends and summarily defeated those invading armies. In the same verse, the prophet admonished Ahab to strengthen himself, replenish his armies, because Ben-Hadad would return in a year to try his hand in a second fight against Israel. Ben-Hadad attributed his loss to his belief that because they attacked Israel in the hills and that Israel's God is a God of the hill countries, therefore that's why they lost. He thought they made a tactical error in executing their war against Israel. They thought then that if they were to fight the battle on the plains in the valleys, they would have a strategic strategic advantage over Israel. In verse 23, Ben Hadad reasoned, their gods are gods of the hills, therefore they were stronger than we. But let us fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. Ben Adad was not wrong in thinking that Yahweh was the God of the hills. But his mistake was to think that God was only the God of the hills. He did not realize that our omnipotent deliverer God is God of the hills, of the plains, of the valleys, of the dungeons. He is a God in the lion's den. He is God in the fiery furnaces. He is God in Egypt, God in the Red Sea. He is God over the Jordan River and the God in the depths of the ocean. And in the expanses of the universe he is God. Ben Hader did not know that God is God of the heavens and the earth who created all things. He spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. He did not know that the hand of the omnipotent deliverer God was responsible for his first defeat. So he decided to try his hand in a second fight in what he would believe would be a more favorable conditions for him and his armies. Oh, bless the Lord. Ben Hader decided to replace those 32 kings and put captains in their places and replace all the horses and chariots that had been lost in the first fight in preparation for this final decisive battle. After a year of preparation, Ben Hader uh, readied re his armies and was now fixed to fight against Israel on the plains where he thought he had a better advantage. In verse 27, the Bible tells us that the children of Israel were numbered and were all present and went, went against them. And the children of Israel pitched before them like two little flocks of kids, goats young baby goats but the Syrians filled the country one source tells me that the phrase two little flocks of kids designate two small vulnerable exposed contingent of soldiers hardly sufficient to fight a large army the Syrians had superior numbers 
and were fighting in the area that they thought they had the advantage. But they did not know that they were not just fighting Israel, but they were fighting the omnipotent deliverer God. Somebody say amen. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The Syrians had not read Psalm 20. They said, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thine offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petition. They did not know that now... O oh, I, that the Lord saveth his anointed, he will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. They did not know that some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. We serve a mighty big omnipotent deliverer God who does not Fear anyone, take him anywhere you wish, in the hills or the valley, in the caves or the mountain, he is still God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ben hated we may be small, and you may be large. We may be two little scattered bands of kids. But you have forgotten that we serve the omnipotent deliverer God. And you shall soon find out that we serve the all-powerful, the almighty, the El Shaddai, the Jehovah Rapha God, the God who provides, Jehovah Nisi, who is our banner. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Verse 29 and 30 shows the hand of the omnipotent Deliverer God at work. The Bible says, and they pitched over one over against the other seven days. They waited for God's perfect number to be fulfilled. And so it was that in the seventh day, the battle was joined. And the children of Israel slew of the Syrians a hundred thousand footmen in one day. I just love God. God doesn't need a whole army. Praise the name of Jesus. God just need a few men. God just need just one person. God doesn't even need anybody because he is God. He is God over all. 7,000 men in one day. You must remember that Israel's forces were only two small flocks of goats. Verse 30 tells us that the rest of these men fled to Aphex. And when they got there, there may not have been any Israelites there with any sword or any shield or any spear. But God has no shortage of means. And God knows no scruples as to means when it comes to defend his people. So when they got there, they thought they were safe behind this wall. And God simply shook that wall. It fell down on, on them. And another 27,000 men died because the hand of the omnipotent deliverer God was at work. What do we have to fear? If God be for us, who can be against us? This was the hand of the omnipotent God at work. The Bible tells me that God is our refuge and strength. He's a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. 
the heathen rage, the kingdoms were moved. The earth uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he hath made in the earth. Our God is a deliverer. Our God is a God of power. He is almighty, omnipotent. He delivers. Hallelujah. Daniel understood that when he was down in Babylon. And they talk about you cannot ask any petition of anybody except the king. Daniel said, I will bow to nobody else but to the king of glory. I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. And so they set a trap for Daniel. Hallelujah. And Daniel was there and began to pray as he always did, three times a day. He prayed to the God of heaven, the creator of the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. He said, God, you know what you said in your word. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and I will heal their lands and if you take them away into a far country because they have sinned when they look toward this place and pray toward you you will hear from heaven so Daniel prayed hallelujah and they threw him in the lion's den oh God but the lions went on a fast overnight the next morning the king came and he said Daniel thou servant of the living God is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee Daniel said O king live forever my God had sent his angel O God to deliver me from the mouth of the lion how many people know that God is the omnipotent God and in the presence of God the ravenous hungry lion must go on fasting the hungry lion see meat and has no appetite for meat because God is in the midst of her somebody give God glory to the Lord today hallelujah oh hallelujah wave your hands and give God some praise in the house of God today you may be in your living room but let me tell you it doesn't matter what you're going through let the heathen rage let them imagine vain things the Lord of hosts is with us and the God of Jacob is still our refuge oh praise the name of Jesus oh praise the name of Jesus the omnipotent God. Omnipotent means all powerful. Oh God, kingdoms will rise and they will fall. Kings come and go. Emperors and empires come and fall. But Jesus Christ remained God forever and ever. In Psalm 90, Moses, for, from, uh, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. There is no place in this universe where God's power is diminished. Travel 60 trillion miles away from the earth and God's power is as much concentrated there as it is in heaven. Oh God, when Jesus Christ died not even death could keep him in the grave for even in the grave he was still Lord because he had the omnipotent God watching over him oh praise the name of Jesus so Ben Hadid thought uh, wrongfully so as he will soon find out that if I could just get Israel where I want them if I could just get Israel on the plains get them off that mountain get them off their comfort zone I can strike them dead and the enemy sometimes want to get us off our game so to speak and think that because you are in among the sanctified that's why he can't get at you oh hallelujah but if you have the almighty God where you are it doesn't matter where you are in the valley or on the mountaintop God is still there praise the name of Jesus he thought he would get Job he said you have an edge around him you protect him so take away the edge from him take away the hill protection 
instruction from him bring him down to my level and he will curse you to the face but how many people know that when you are born again when you're washed in his blood when you're rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ when your life is hid with Christ in God it doesn't matter what the devil throws at you no weapons that's formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that's arised against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servant of the living God somebody shout glory wherever you are today give God some praise hallelujah thank you Jesus amen our God that we serve is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think hallelujah so church let your imagination take you as far as you want to don't be limited by the naysayers who tell you that you're not going to accomplish much if you can think it god can exceed it oh hallelujah if you can imagine it god can multiply it oh god there was a prophet a man they were israel was surrounded by a large army and elisha told his servant see what you see he said i see a whole bunch of people surrounding us and elisha said there is more with us than are with them i imagine that on that that prophet that young man rather was somewhat confused Elijah, you've, Elisha, you've spent too much time in the sun. You've lost your mind. All I see is a threat to us. He prayed that God would open up his servant eyes that he could see. And what he saw was the angel of God. The angels of the Lord encamps round about them. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The, you know, I, I tell you, we, we sometimes... We don't live up to our potential. We are governed by what we can see. We are not sometimes governed by faith, but we must walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Take your eyes off the enemy and look at Jesus. No matter how big they are. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. Though a host shall rise against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. It's a one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion it doesn't matter what the devil throws at you Lord God hide me under the your pavilion hide me in the cleft of the rock oh god a wonderful savior is jesus my lord a wonderful savior to me he hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock where rivers of pleasures i see yes there are threats yes the enemies are many and even in this pandemic, the devil thought he would shut us down as a church. Hallelujah. Although we were, we were shut down for a while, we were not shut out. We, were get, we got closer, closer than ever before. I see Pastor if I see Raj more often and in the last month, couple of years, in the last year than in all my life. All these folks you'll see, somehow God take what, what could have been something devastating 
And certainly it was devastating for many. And God turned it out for good. So I have fellowship with Jesus Christ. So in whatever state we find ourselves in, remember that our omnipotent, almighty God is still there. He's still in control. And there's nothing that can come against us that we cannot overcome. If God be for us, tell me who can be against us. Don't know what time it is, but I'm going to bring this to a close. May the Lord bless you richly. Remember this, you serve a mighty big God. The songwriter many years ago wrote, Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the words thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, hallelujah, my Savior God to thee, how omnipotent, how great, how magnificent, how stupendous, how wonderful you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hide you in the rock. When the storms are raging high, hide you in the rock till the dangers pass you by. Praise the name of Jesus. Worship him today. Give him some glory in the house. Give him some praise. Oh God, give him some glory. Give him some praise. He is your shepherd. He is your king. He is your deliverer. He is our shade in the night season. Oh God, when the heathen rage, give him some glory. When you feel that your life is about to leave you, give him some praise. That like even if you die, you shall live again. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth on me shall never die. So let death come. It will not keep me. Oh God, for when this body slumbers in the cold cold clay and you put me there in my crypt or in the grave hallelujah i still serve an omnipotent deliverance god who will deliver me from the power of death who will deliver me from the power of corruption and bring me back to life for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout we serve a mighty big God, the omnipotent God, the delivering God, oh God, the saving God, and his name is Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha the Omega, the beginning and the end. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, especially to the preacher that has allowed the Lord to speak through him. Bless God. We just give God praise and thanks and honor for him this evening. And we give God thanks for the word that comes to us. And the word that comes to us tells us that in all aspects of our lives, God is our deliverer. Amen. And so if there is a soul this evening that had listened to the words of God. Anyway, we have been here for some time. If you've been on the service and listening, amen, so many words come to us. But this word, amen, that ends our meeting this night, amen, cap everything. God is a deliverer because he's an omnipotent God. And so it is, if you need a savior, you will find him in this omnipotent God. Many are trying today to find something, amen, to satisfy 
their lifestyle and their life desire. But Jesus Christ, right now, the Savior of the world, He is our deliverer. And so, amen, as the Word of God tells us, He said, Lord, Thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou knowest my thoughts are far off. So regardless of who we are, God knows even our thoughts before it engenders words. So at this time, if there's a soul, that needs the Lord. Just put your request in the chat. Or you can raise your hand wherever you are. And I'm amen. And to pray with you. So if there's a soul this evening that needs prayer, just raise your hand where you are at this time. If somebody here needs the Lord. Maybe you have been trying and trying over the years and somehow you have got to a point in which you have somehow nearly made up your mind. As Amen the King said to the Apostle Paul, you almost make me to be a Christian. Sometimes you can get to that point in which you're almost there, but you're not there. This is your evening. This is your time right now just to say to God, here am I, take me as I am. The word of God tells us that we are wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and we know right well. So right now, if you are here anywhere you are if you, any part of the world that you are at at this moment the lord jesus christ can do something for you and i'm sure right now that somebody somewhere amen is crying out don't just be fearful of the pandemic that is around us but let the fear of god comes into your soul, into your mind, into your desire, that you can say to the Lord, here am I. Is there one, is there one this evening that we can pray for? Is there one that will just raise your hand if you're here? Just unmute, amen, and we can see you. Just raise your hand if you're here, and we will pray with you i'm sure that there are many right now that can just take you out and if you just say that amen and pray with you if there is one before we close amen all these services is for building up the kingdom of god it is not for our benefits but it is for your benefits especially those that are not saved but if there are individuals that are on here and you need to be lifted up, you need prayer for something just to get you to the place that you ought to be, then we are here to do that for you. Amen. All over the world at this time, there is somebody that is ready. If you can't even get into a building. You can use your phone. Call somebody. Amen. And I'm sure that they will minister to your needs. The word of God tells us, amen, and in the Psalms 139, it tells us that we are wonderfully, wonderfully made. The marvelous are thy works. Why? Because my soul know it right well amen and every one of us we will have to go back to our maker someday and so let us get ready and be ready amen at this time by accepting christ as your personal savior that when he shall return then we will hear the voice well done 
Well done, good and faithful servant. We can only be so if we accept him to be our Lord and Savior. He's our deliverer in all things. Your mind at this time might become even elasticated, but Jesus Christ can bring it back to a place of understanding, a place in which you can hear his voice, a place in which you can say yes to God, a place in which you can say thank you, Jesus, a place in which you can say yes, God, you have done something for me in my life that I can give my life to you. Will you accept him this night? Before we go, will you accept him if you're on? Amen. Just say yes to God and we will pray with you. God bless you at this time. Amen. And I'm going to pray before we go, before I hand back to Pastor Brooks for the final word. I'm just going to pray, especially for you that have a desire to be saved. And I'm sure that God will work upon that good desire of your heart that you will be saved. And I'm sure that the power of God by his spirit will continue to allow you to be saved. So at this time, let us pray, amen. And not only me alone, but all those that are on here that have the, the desire for souls, let us pray. I'm just going to pray in brief now for those that I believe that someone is on tonight that say yes to God. And I'm going to pray for that one that will, the, the light of God, with the perpetual light of God, will continue to shine within the heart and within the soul of that one that God will continue to bless. Amen. Bless God. Eternal God, oh Father, we just give you thanks this evening. You have been here with us. You have blessed us. You have kept us. You have spoken to us through your words. You have spoken to us through songs, through the exaltations, through words of comfort, words of life. I give you praise, I give you honor, because in all this, God, you promise that you will not leave us comfortless. You promise that you will come unto us. Why? Because you are our deliverer. We honor you this night. Those that was on and those that are on at this time and need your touch, God. They need to be saved. They need a touch of your divine presence. They need to know that they are not only like children in your sight, but when you are with them, they can fight the army of the devil that is around them. I ask you tonight that in the name of Jesus Christ, lay your hands upon them, that they too will see the need and the necessity of being a child of God. I put all these petitions into your hands. Those that are on and needed to be lifted up, needed to be strengthened by your power and your will. I ask you at this time that you will go to them at this time. Touch the minds, touch the thoughts, touch their desires that they too will understand that you are not only a God of the hills, but God, you're a God of the valley, of the mountain, of the sea, and wherever we are, you are the omnipotent God that is there in all aspects of our lives. Continue to bless us now, and I thank you for being with us, and I thank you for being what you are to us, and I thank you for speaking to us, and I thank you for the one that brings forth the word, amen, to us this evening. And I give you praise and honor, and I say thank you, God, in Jesus' name, amen. Bless God, bless God. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Praise God, praise God. Bless God. At this time, I hand back to uh, our pastor, amen, Pastor Brooks, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Richards. Praise God. Praise God.
What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. He is unstoppable. Hallelujah. There is no limit. Hallelujah. There is no boundary to the mighty God. Hallelujah. He is able. He is able. He is able. We thank God tonight for his goodness. We thank him for his blessings and for what he has enabled us to do tonight. It is a blessing. Praise God. Our souls have been dieted in a good matter. And for that reason, we give God thanks and praise. Praise God. I just want to thank him tonight for the speaker. Can we just lift our hands up this time and just give God a wave offering. Thanking him for the words that have been ministered unto our hearts. Praise God in power and in clarity. Hallelujah. Thank God tonight for the words that has been given by his servant. Praise God. And I just... Praise God on behalf of my dear wife and myself. Praise God, my assistant pastors. Praise God, evangelist Norma Tyndale, evangelist Jane Pemberton, and all the saints of the Bradford CJC. Praise God. Just want to extend all, you know, our sincere gratitude and thanks to everyone who has joined in tonight. Hallelujah, to celebrate with us in our service. Praise God. God has been good and truly he has poured on his blessing. Just want to thank, praise God, the praise and worship team who have done such a great job. Praise God, praise God. Just want to thank the Zoom team as well. Hallelujah, who have done, praise God, so well. We thank you all. We, we cannot express in words of our gratitude, but we are thankful to the Zoom team, praise God, who are there, you know, doing all the technical jobs, praise God, behind the scene. We are truly thankful to you. We thank our, our moderator tonight, praise God, praise God, Sister Daphne. Thank you, Jesus. We give God thank. We thank the chairman tonight, praise God, in the person of Brother Shamar Evans. Thank you. We thank all our bishops, praise God, who have joined in tonight, praise God, and to celebrate with us, to encourage us, praise God, praise God. Bishop Walter G. McCoy, Bishop C.T. Richards, and uh, Bishop L. Palmer, praise God. And if there's any bishop who have overlooked, praise God, praise God, praise God. We just give you thanks, I will give thanks tonight. You, you know, for you joining in with us, celebrating in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank all our pastors who have joined in tonight. Praise God, our elders. Praise God. Want to thank all the saints and visiting friends. Praise God, who have joined in from every region. Praise God. Want to thank the saints from UK. Hallelujah, who have joined in. From everywhere, from every church that has joined in tonight, we give thanks to you. We want to thank the, the saints from the USA who have joined in. Saints from Canada. Praise God. Praise God. We thank Sister Money for, you know, her items and singing or ministering in songs. Praise God. We thank her. Praise God. I know her mom will honor as well. That's my wife, um, niece, and her sister. They were on from Canada. Thank Pastor Raj, our overseer Raj from India, praise God, from Trinidad, praise God, we have Pastor Duncan representing Elder Etienne, praise God, Jamaica, praise God, saint from Jamaica, praise God, Emmanuel Apostolic, and that's my immediate church from Jamaica, thank Elder Moshe for his word of greetings, and thank everyone, hallelujah, we appreciate you, we love you, Praise God, and we just pray God's blessing, his goodness, his kindness, and mercy upon you all. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for joining, and the good Lord be with you, bless you, and keep you. Praise God, and the writer say, all the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy, whom through life has been my God? Praise God, God bless you tonight, and you go forth in peace, in Jesus' name. At this time, the benediction. If we could just bow our heads, praise God, praise God, praise God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. We all say amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Praise God. Praise God. You can now unmute as we are being this. God bless you, Pastor Brooks. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Glory to God. God bless the Lord, Sister Kirkton. God bless you. God bless you all. Love you all. Oh my God. Bless you all. I love it. Shouting down here. Bless you, 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 bless you